Hey guys, Fight On Gamer here, bringing you up to date tutorial on the new release of the Beat Saber Mod Manager as of today. I'll be showing you how to download and install the Mod Manager, plus how to fix some errors I came across and downloading all kinds of mods, so let's get into this. Starting off, I have the Mod Manager link open to download the exe file. At the same time, I have my window files open along next to it to make it simple to follow. So the first thing you want to do is go into your Beat Saber folder and if you downloaded the previous mod installer, you just want to install it. I install it because I don't want any errors to come upon the game itself and corrupting it because this is a new mod installer compared to the previous one so it's best to uninstall that. Now I will give you the link as to where the Beat Saber mod manager is. You can also access it through the bsaber.com if you just go under the uh, plugins and then the mod tab. From there, there will be a section where it says download link gear and you just simply click that. It'll take you to another window where you can actually uh, end up at this window that I am right now. Upon downloading the exe file, it's going to be appearing in your download file. So what I tend to do is I like to keep everything within my Beat Saber uh, file folder where the game is located in. So I took that from the downloads and uh, moved it over to the Beat Saber folder. And from there, I just simply launched the application. And if it ever pops up, such as this uh, Windows protected your PC, since I'm running on a Windows, this is gonna pop up saying that it does not recognize this app I'm trying to download and run. Just simply run it anyway, okay? Another error comes up. It says that we couldn't seem to find your Beat Saber installation please press OK and point us to it. So simply you're just going to have to find the file as to where you put the Beat Saber mod manager. So like I said, I like to keep everything within the Beat Saber file where the game is located in. So all you have to do is just click OK and just go into a folder that has that Beat Saber mod manager in. Afterwards, a pop-up will come up. And basically you just have to simply select as to where you purchase the game. So if you purchase the game on Steam, you'll click on Steam. If you purchase it on Oculus Store, you'll click on Oculus Store and confirm. Make sure that the file path is matching with where your Beat Saber game is located in. So as you can see in the Beat Saber folder path, it's on my G Drive, Oculus, software, software, and then the Beat Saber folder. And that's matching as to where I put my Beat Saber manager. Now looking into the mod manager, you can see that there's already check marks for certain mods or uh, essential files that you need in order to run the mods. So you don't have to worry about checking those. So they're already labeled as required. So if you're simply just going for wanting to have your custom songs being able to play in the game, then you can just simply click install and update. But if you want your mods uh, specific mods such as like Camera Plus or Practice Plugin, then you'll check those. There's a handy tool actually when highlighting the specific mod that you want. Click the View Selected Mod Info and from there it will give you a brief description as to what exactly that mod does. And one thing I would highly suggest is check marking the sync saver because it's going to play an important role in being able to instantly download songs onto the Beat Saber game. Once you click install and update, you will see that in my uh, window folder, everything is downloaded correctly. So we're able to move on to the next step. Opening up Beat Saber now, you can see that the menu has changed a lot. If we go into the mods tab section, you will see there's a lot of our mods that I've selected already that's there. Refresh songs, which you can simply, if you download a song in there, you don't see it actually in the customs folder, then simply clicking this refresh songs would uh, help reveal it. Then you have the Beat Saber mod tab, which keeps all your uh, sabers that you've downloaded. So you can just click select and then go back. Next you have the more songs which you can download your songs from here. It's not as uh, great as if you were to let's say download the songs from the B Saber because it doesn't have a preview button so you don't really necessarily know how the song will play as. But just for this example you can just click download. I click download for Mortal Kombat. You see that it downloaded pretty fast in the download queue and so now it should be my playlist. Next thing we have is the more playlist tab which Already a lot of people made playlists with their favorite songs. So let's say if you like Ruby songs and you see it has like 27 songs, then you can just simply download that. 
If you do, just click refresh songs, it also appears in the main menu. So now going into the custom songs folder, I'm going to try to find the Mortal Kombat song that I got. And you can see it's already downloaded. But here, there's a problem. You can see that on the very top, that song is not matching with the uh, song that I picked. And this is just simply an error that's uh, occurred during my installation. So I'm showing you a preview as to like what happened. As you can tell, this is not a Mortal Kombat song. This is a completely another song, even though I did chose Mortal Kombat. So some of the fixed options that I found was restarting the Oculus and then also running the IPA application at least once and opening Oculus and then going back to Beat Saber, you can see now everything is perfectly working fine. Now going back, I'm going to be playing Mortal Kombat to show you that yes, the song does work properly. Now going into the beatmods.com, so instead of clicking on the installer again and trying to reinstall certain mods that you basically didn't check, you can just simply now go into this website beatmods.com and it has all of the mods that you would want to possibly download or re-download if you mistakenly uninstall it. If you want to again know more info, you click on the more info tab and it will give you a good description as to what the mod does. So now I'm going to pick notes left counter. I'm going to download the zip file. And as you can see, I'm using Bandy Zip to open it. It's totally free. So if you want, you can actually download that and use it to open the zip files. I'll put a link down in the description if you want to download that. Anyways, you want to go back into your uh, folder with the Beat Saber game in and you want to go and find the plugins folder. From there, you want to make sure that you extract the file of the mod that you're trying to download and put it into the plugins folder. Now, I messed up here because I accidentally extracted an entire folder. So I don't need two plugins folder. So I simply just copied the mod that I downloaded and then took it out and finally just deleted the plugins folder, the second plugins folder. Don't delete the main plug plugins folder. Now, when I'm doing that, make sure Beat Saber is completely off. Going back into it, you want to go into your custom songs, go to modifiers, and as you can see down below, it says show notes left counter. That's what we downloaded. And you can see that there's already a counter at the very top telling you how many notes are left. So now I'm going to play a bit and you can see that the, the numbers are going down. Next thing, we are going to download songs. So going back into bsaber.com and going to the uh, songs tab folder. From there, you can just specify your search. So I pick top and then all. You can see already gave me some options here. Now I'm going to be downloading three songs using three different methods. The first one I talked about was Sync Saber, which I recommended downloading. And with this is you simply have to log in into bsaber.com and when you click on the Sync Saber icon, it should automatically install the song into the game if you downloaded the Sync Saber mod. Next I'm going to be talking about the uh, download zip file as well as the one-click install song. I will also go over how to download the song if you're going to click on the zip file icon or the one-click install if you already downloaded the mod installer. But first things first, I'm going to go over quickly the preview icons that you can preview the song, see what exactly how it plays as and you can choose the difficulty level that you want to see as to how fast the boxes are coming at you. Now I'm going to download Foo Fighters The Pretender. So I'm going to click on the one click install. And this only works if you already installed the Mod Saber installer, which we did. And then I'm going to download the Finger 11 Paralyzer. 
So I'm going to use the zip file icon. From here I had to do more manual work. But all I simply have to do is just copy the file path folder where my custom solace is located. Put it in the uh, extraction path where I want to extract the song into. Find my custom songs folder and then click OK and the song is now inside my custom songs folder. So we downloaded three songs with three different methods and we're going to jump over into Beat Saber and check to see if the game's there. So here's one thing that went wrong. Hey Mama, which I used the Sync Saber method to download, is not there. Uh, possibly because this is a new mod installer, so not everything is going to be perfectly working right off the bat. But when a new update comes, for sure, it's going to start to work, hopefully. But do not freak out because the other two methods did work. You can see that I have Foo Fighters Pretender and the uh, Finger 11 Paralyzer. So you can just stick with those other two methods and you'll still get your songs that you want into the custom songs folder and be able to play it. That's it you guys, hope this video helped and if it did I appreciate a like. If you have questions regarding the installation process or downloading mods, comment down below and I'll try my best to answer them. You can also join the Beat Saber mod discord that has a support channel and they are really helpful as well. Link will be in the description. Go ahead and hit that subscribe and notification buttons for future videos as that helps grow my channel. And a quick shout out to the modding community, especially to LOLPants, who is the original creator of the Beat Saber mod installer. If it weren't for him, we would all be taking a lot of time trying to install these mods. Thank you for the huge service you have done, and I wish you all the best. And remember gamers, fight on.